Schneider is in deep, deep trouble here. And I think this lawsuit is gonna drive him out of business. I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna see a big mega carrier company file for chapter 11 bankruptcy in the upcoming months or maybe in a few years. I don't know how long they're gonna be able to hold themselves with this lawsuit. Basically, this happened in 2017, so this was not recent. This is quite a while, so it took a couple of years, actually several years for this to get sorted out. Basically, here is what happened. According to court documents, Jarvis Nance Sr., owner of Nance Trucking LLC of Powder Springs, Georgia, was struck and killed around 5.40 a.m. on August 17, 2017, near the Camp Creek Parkway after exiting his 2007 International 9400 tractor. Investigators who arrived at the scene after the crash stated Nance was forced to brake suddenly and steer his tractor into the emergency lane, striking the concrete median on southbound Interstate 285. And why did this truck driver die? He unfortunately died. Condolences to the family. But why did he die? Simply because Schneider cut across the lane, cut off a pickup truck that swerved, and the pickup truck lost control and basically struck the truck driver that was outside of his vehicle. I don't know what he was doing outside of the vehicle. Maybe his truck broke down or something and he had to go outside of the vehicle. That's why you always gotta be safe and watch out, look for traffic. But the truck driver was standing outside his vehicle and got struck by this pickup truck. And why was this lawsuit delayed? Well, because the insurance company actually settled with the victim and the case was dismissed. But somehow it appeared back on court and we got ourselves a nuclear verdict, which is pretty crazy. Now, this happened in Atlanta, Georgia. The the, the two, uh, two G, uh, the GSP state trooper took um, all the like uh, reports in. Everybody testified to the GSP troopers, whatever you want to call it. And Schneider, the truck, the truck driver for Schneider, only had four months of experience or just got his CDL four months ago before this incident happened. So he was a brand new driver, which I kind of feel sorry for him. At the same time, you don't do this. Your truck, your semi truck is not a car. You can't simply just swerve around multiple lanes of traffic. But how did they find this truck driver that no longer works for them? First of all, this truck driver already had an incident and he was on probation of Schneider. Second of all, he claims he has not been in that area at the time of the incident, he was at a Target distribution center, which he was at a Target distribution center, but he was there an hour early before the incident happened. So he lied or he simply forgot. And this is how they found that truck driver driving the specific area. They used GPS software on the ELD to find specifically, and probably match it up to the camera data if the truck did have a camera facing forward when this actually occurred. Here's the funny part. Not, well, not yeah, it is funny actually. When he was backing up a target that day, he went on Facebook Live and decided to show his friends what kind of truck driver he is. He showed everyone how to back up into the dock, and he ended up hitting a pole on Facebook Live. At the end of the day, there was a nuclear jury at the court that day doing this case, and they awarded the victim forty-seven million dollars out of the lawsuit. That's a big number at first they were like recommended to push out a 35 million dollar lawsuit but it turned out to be a 47 million dollar lawsuit is what they decided i personally think i personally think in my mind here's what's going on with the jury up there one of them is a truck driver and that individual is an owner operator or a company driver that does not like mega carriers and want to bring the mega carriers down so that way the rates of the loads will go up and we are not controlled by mega carriers and be left alone to do trucking. But beside the point, this is exactly what I mean by Schneider is in big, big trouble. Because this lawsuit, $47 million, even for a big company like that, is no easy task. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to pay it up all front, but they're going to do monthly or yearly. But $47 million in a lawsuit of expense coming out the door. It could crush and bankrupt Schneider and their operations and basically halt all of their operations because they're just going to run out of money to operate and may not be able to get business loans. Um, it's it, it just a big devastation for Schneider. So I, I see in the next coming year, Schneider may struggle because of this lawsuit. Uh, there's going to be a lot of companies that who do CDL training will not want 
new truck drivers to go to Schneider. I think a lot of truck drivers don't want to go to Schneider. Actually, they don't even go want to go to the Schneider now. There's a lot of YouTubers that used to work for Schneider. They got fired because they were doing YouTube. They're not allowed to record. So that is a bad policy right there. So Schneider, in the next couple of years, I think you're going bankrupt because of this $47 million lawsuit. You better pick your game up and fix this because $47 million is not an easy sum to pay. Not canceled. Guys, I'm Eddie B. Driving attempt from the sex series.